In this session, we will prove that square root of a prime number is a irrational number. Before proving this statement, let me remind you what is irrational number. The real numbers which cannot be represented in fraction, that is in the form of p by q, where p and q are integers and co-primes. Let's take some prime numbers, 2, 3 and 5. Square root of these numbers are always irrational number. Let me prove a theorem first. Then we will prove whether the square root of a prime number is irrational number or not. There are three corollaries you should remember. I will prove one corollary in this video. If a prime number p divides a square, then p divides a, where a is a positive integer. Since any composite number can be represented as a product of prime factors, let a be the product of prime factors p1, p2, p3, so on up to pn. Squaring on the both sides, we get a square equal to p1 into p2 into so on up to pn square. So, we get a square equal to p1 square into p2 square and pn square. According to given statement, p divides a square. That means p is a factor of p1 square into p2 square up to pn square. By fundamental theorem of arithmetic, the primes in the factorization of p1 square into p2 square into p3 square up to pn square are unique. p is one out of the primes p1, p2 up to pn. Because in statement it is given p divides a square. Let's say p is equal to pk, where k can be value between 1 to n. So pk divides p1 into p2 into p3 so on up to pn. So it is pk divides a. Hence we proved the theorem. There are two more corollaries you should remember. If A divides BC and HCF of A and B is 1, then A divides C. If a prime number divides the product of two integers, then it divides at least one of them. That is, if P is a prime and P divides AB, then P divides A or P divides B. Let's prove that square root of prime numbers are irrational. 2 is one of the prime numbers. So let's prove square root of 2 is irrational. We will begin with assuming square root of 2 is a rational number. If square root of 2 is rational, then it can be represented in the form p by q, where p and q are co-primes. Remember, co-primes means the numbers have only one as their common factor. Also remember, fraction can be reduced to a form where denominator and numerator are co-primes. So, square root of 2 is equal to p by q. Squaring on the both sides, it is 2 equal to p square by q square. Rearrange LHS and RHS terms, it is p square equal to 2 into q square. I will mark it as a statement 1. p square is product of 2 into q square. What it means is, p square is an even number. That means p into p is an even number. This means p is equal to even number. Because product can be even only when both the factors are even or at least one factor is even. In this case, both the factors are same. Hence, this has to be an even number. As p is equal to even number, it can also be represented as product of 2 into k. It is p is equal to 2 into k. Replacing this in the first statement, it is 2 into k square equal to 2 into q square. It is 4 into k square equal to 2 into q square. After simplifying, we get 2 into k square equal to q square. Hence, Q is also an even number. So, both P and Q are even numbers. That means, these two numbers have common factor 2. Since these two numbers have common factor other than 1, these are not co-primes. This is contradictory to our assumption that P and Q are co-primes. So, 
our assumption that square root of 2 is a rational number is wrong. Hence, square root of 2 is irrational number.